All right, guys, I got my buddy, buddy Billy here. We uh, He had called me a couple of weeks ago, a week or so ago, and I told him that we're going to have to, uh, or he said he had some pig problems, told him kind of what to do, and then uh, he said, but we need to get on it fast. So I ended the last job. You just saw all the pigs that I caught over there in the uh, Starfall area, and now we're back here. But you can see this yard right here. Uh, yeah, there we are. You can see the yard right there, how that's all tore up. They just keep coming in here, and they're always looking for nut grass, uh, grub worms, uh, earthworms, anything. You know, it's just this time of the year for them to grab them. So you can see right here, we're trying to keep down uh, this damage. So we got a little old pile of corn. We're going to set up right there. We're going to put that big pig trap up. But y'all always want to know where my help's at. I'm going to show you where my help's at. Everybody just been wanting to know where you was at, so I just let them know where you was at right now. Can you say hey? Hey. <laughs> so Harlow's been doing football practice. He does a junior high practice uh, from one to three, and then a high school practice from uh, three to five. So anyway, he kind of give out. So I'm gonna give him a little break at this moment in time. But as soon as he gets this little sucked in, a uh, little cool air, I'm gonna get him out here, and uh, he can at least turn the camera on for me. So y'all stay tuned, and we'll have this thing set up here in just a second. Mm hmm. All right. So we back at it. Harlow, if you go around there and pull that other safety pin out. I got this one out. We started videoing us pulling safety pins out ever since uh, I've been leaving them in when I'm trying to drop. So, yeah. if you'll pull that out and just kind of see what's got that loop in it, just pull it through. Right there, right there. Be fine. Be fine, just up out of the way. And then uh, we also got the winch cables off. Winch cables off that side. The door is locked. So as you can see, we're right here, right here, in front of the house. Left the light on for you. That's the problem, like the Motel 8 right here. Y'all leaving the light on for the pig to come up here. So, <laughs> but any which ways, give it a few days and see what we got. Look at this hole. God, just, just go in the trap, man. Get on the other side. He is all up on the... He is all up on the uh, camera side. Like, get over there in the corner already. Man, I got the hiccups. Anyway, this dude is, there he is, kind of coming around. I can't tell if that's the boy hog or what, man. I'm so tired right now. <laughs> man, I got the hiccups. Anyway, making his loop round. Seeing what we got. Pretty good hog. Or oh, that other one was pretty good hog. I don't know what this is. Oh, sorry, I got hiccups. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, we're just watching, looking. <clears throat> sorry. Anyway, just trying to figure it out what's going on. But it may end up in there, it may not. Oh. Like I said, he wants to go in there bad. But I don't know if that's that boar hog or not. I really need to see if. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, hiccups are killing me. Oh, they just, I don't know what the deal is with that. With that. <laughs> the thing, hiccups. Oh, I don't know what the deal is with that. Yeah, I can give him a little bite to eat. Coming on in there a little bit. There you go. Give him a little corn, man. <sighs> Excuse me. They're gone again. What are you doing? What are you doing? What, 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 what is that? What is that? Uh. Mm, 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 mm. Anyway, we got a storm coming. Everybody talking about the weather coming and everything. So, anyway. We're well, just watching, seeing him get a little corn. I'm like, what, 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 what? Let me get a little snack. Let me get a little snack. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Mm. <laughs> I know y'all killing y'all watching that. Like, I know. I probably think of it. Let's see what he's doing. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I'm going to give me a glass of milk. Just trying to see what he's doing. Fast. I think that's the boar hog. He looks like a boar hog. That's pretty stout. <clears throat> it looks pretty stout, but... Mm. 
I know he's got, yeah, he's like, what's going on? Like, he can't figure out what's going on. Uh, and I really want to drop, but I don't know how he's going to react here shortly. Just want to make sure he's comfortable, really. So he doesn't really feel comfortable there, you know? Just... Tell you what we'll do. We're gonna get this on here. If he puts his head back down, we're gonna drop. If he'll put his head back down to eat. Boom. Just that quick. See, that's how you gotta watch them dudes, man. Look at he just standing in there. He just standing there looking like what? What's going on here? I got my cable in the way, can't really tell. Pretty good hog, I believe. Think he is anyway. Can't tell what he looks like. Mm, yeah, he might be a pretty good stout hog there. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna say he's a pretty good stout hog. I know we're filming a lot right here, but anyway, oh. Uh, that's a pretty good stout hog, I believe. Just repeating myself over and over. But, uh, I needed a hog out of that group right there. So. Anywho, I guess we'll see y'all later. I don't know if I'm going to go get him tonight. Or, uh, get him in the morning. I'll get him in the morning. I may go, I may go knock him in there. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm totally tired. So I can get up early in the morning and go get him, I guess. But, Anywho, y'all see we got him. Five minutes worth of footage of him. <laughs> In the hiccups. And he get a little bite to eat. It is dusty, so uh, maybe it won't rain on me. Anyway, we'll see y'all in a little while. And uh, pretty good style hole. Uh, road closed. It ain't closed for the yolk yolk. Y'all know if I'm up, there's a reason. And I got a pig. Ugh. Rifle. I got a pig that don't want to act right. Uh, the ground's real dry and uh, he got a lot of time to be acting full. So, anyway, I'm gonna come up here. Let's see if I can't do something with this pig real quick. Okay. Anyway, y'all know me. It's midnight. It's 12 10 at night. See the house in the background. Got some big on for us. Good gracious to life. Yeah. There you go up there a little bit. How well my video is doing. You got a set of cards on. I don't think you really got no big teeth on it, but pretty good. I'm just kind of being calm, but he is pretty thick. You can see right there, he got him on it. Kind of sagging. Kind of sagging. Yeah, good one. Right Hold on just a minute. Yeah, I'm just trying to give you a little footage of him. People's always wanting to see him. They're like, do a little bit longer. I, I don't know if you can how well you can see or not. I can't. This focus or not. He's kind of. Anyway. Uh, he's pretty good to know. He got some showing up on him. Let's see what I do. Let me get on this side just in case. Oh, you can see it pretty good stuff. I don't know if I can get it out of that light or not. Anyway. Pretty good hog, got some pretty good teeth on him. Uh, decent teeth. Big hog though, big body hog. Like I said, enough if I had to worry about him if he was gonna try to jump out or flip the cage over or something, you know, but anyway, we got him. I'm not gonna fool with him tonight. I'm gonna get him, I'm gonna get him uh, in the morning and whatnot. And like I said, you can see the house right there, right at the front, right at the front door. This big old dude coming up in your front door. Think about that. Right here in your front yard. And uh, I'm from the country too, and I like 
I can go outside and urinate. <laughs> I don't need this thing come rooting up on me. Uh, I ain't gonna be judging rooters now. You stay out of my yard. <laughs> so, anyway, like I said, big old hog down. And uh, everything got a big old long tail on him. And uh, bushy, t old bush tail. So, any which way, but uh, I'll come back in the morning and uh, we'll. Uh, We'll get this dude loaded up, take him off. Like I said, he ain't gonna be good for nothing. I ain't got time. I may call it university over, call it university over there and see if I can't get him, take him or whatnot. But uh, anyway, just a big old rank boar. I'm just gonna uh, give him to the program. We like to call saving the buzzers from the highway. Uh, get him off the road and eat over him. But anyway, it's about one o'clock in the morning, so I'm gonna head home, give him a few hours of shut eye, and uh, come on back. So. Y'all keep tuning in until we finish it out tomorrow. And uh, I don't know. I may try to get this dude up and try to weigh him. I don't. I, I mean, I don't know. Like I said, it depends how rank or swole he is when I get here in the morning sometime. But I just come on down here and get him knocked down. And uh, we got some more pigs in here. We got to. I mean, I know we got a sow. But this boar hog wouldn't let, wouldn't let none of them eat. So, I mean, he just kept on. I mean, I've been watching him other than what you saw on the video. I've been watching him. And uh, he was just, see how nervous he was in and out. And he did the same way if another pig come in. He'd run them off, but like I said, it wasn't like uh, three, four maybe pig, but we had to get, I mean, it was just one of them deals I just had to get him caught. So uh, I don't like catching singles. I mean, I don't mind them when they're big, but on, on something like this where they're just tearing up the yard. But uh, anyway, it's good to get this beast out of here. So see y'all in the morning. It's late, early, one of them. Big old, oh, hey. <sighs> Alright, alright, we back uh, in the spot. Look at the hogs and root all this up right here. Look at all that. He got up under this tree. Uh, I come down here. There was some uh, <clears throat> truck driver turned up here and I think he meant to go the other way. The bridge is out uh, that way. It says road closed. And I actually come down here and was trying to uh, flag him down. I was going to let that truck driver just come up here and maybe he could help me uh, load this pig up. But Anyway, it ain't working, so <laughs> I'm by myself. Land on the text this morning, he said, uh, you want me to do something with this pig? I said, well, I'm at the co-op, I'm gonna get some corn and stuff, and then uh, I'll be right there, and then I get here, and uh, <laughs> ain't nowhere to be found. So uh, anyway, with the hog hit the tree, and uh, basically what happened was the first couple of nights, they didn't, uh, they didn't hit that, so. Uh, uh, hit the corn so they come out here and they still root up a little bit but uh i feel really depressed about it because i had to catch that big pig and i know it's another sow and a small i know it was three pigs and uh you're probably thinking oh it's way more than three they could have done that much damage just three but they can they can come in here and like i said i mean i literally caught that right there they even left the light on oh <sighs> so anyway i got the big pig caught uh as you can see right there you probably don't look that big from this angle up here but uh they pretty stout, pretty stout. So, got some nice teeth on him, and uh, we're gonna try to get him loaded up best we can. I lost my, I misplaced my tripod, so I got this little handheld thing. It's not, I don't know what to do with my tripod. I mean, like it's literally gone, gone. So, I'm gonna set this up right here best I can. You can kind of see the hog trap in the yard. We'll see how it works out. I don't know how well I'll be able to. Uh, I mean, this dude's gonna be stout. You hear me? I mean, he was stout just getting out of the. He was stout just getting out of the, out of the cage last night.
some decent teeth on it. We're gonna feed this one to the uh, buzzer community. Had a few ants on it. It don't take long this time of the year. It don't take long this time of the year to get them. Get ants and stuff on them. Whew. But anyway, we got him loaded up. And uh, I'll get him drug off. But a lot of people, I know we want to. Let me take you back on this side where the sun's at. Oh, yeah. I know a lot of people want to, uh, you know, we've got to feed them, don't want to waste them, stuff like that. But uh, this hog actually... You can see it's kind of divoted in. Can y'all see it's kind of divoted in right there? And I don't know if you can tell the sun. Anyway, it was a gap. It was a gap in between the dirt and the uh, and the cage. So it was about a gap, about like about like that maybe. And I was watching this hog for like 30 minutes because a lot of times I watch these big hogs because they don't try to figure it out, you know. Uh, and I don't want anything to jump out or tear up anything or whatever, you know. That dude was getting down on his knees, on his kneecaps, and had his head up under there. Now, they can't dig like a dog and find a final spot, but I was watching him <laughs> raise that. He was raising that cage up, and I was like, are you serious right now? So, <laughs> and I, I was like, if he gets that whole head up under there, he'll be able to scoot out, you know? I was thinking, so anyway, I mean, I, I've never had that happen. It just, when I was watching, I was like, oh, my goodness. So, <laughs> anyway, uh, I just come on down here last night and knocked him in the head and got it, but man i just hate i hope we catch another hog we got a lot of rain coming in but i mean the boar it just as a trapper and trying to help these folks uh it just it just sucks because i really needed those three in there to go and knock them down i don't really want any more damage but uh you know one big giant hog is is, is a win in a sense but if we can catch them we catch that sow or whatever they just come over eating this nut grass and everything but right here in their front yard so uh doing the best i can but any which way, I'm finna go feed this thing. We call this the, we call this saving the buzzers from the highway programs. <laughs> so, anyway, we keep the buzzers off the highway, and then uh, you know that's just part of life cycles. Like I said, he had to go, and uh, I'm the one that made him go. So any which way, uh, y'all hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and uh, for the four people that continuously dislike my video right off the bat, I appreciate it because I still get paid for your dislike. Come on. Any which way, y'all have a good one. God bless Andy's always. Jesus loves you. Yes, he does.